Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19. Um, and I'm kind of excited about this episode. Um, those of you who saw the extra super bonus episode on Friday, since I screwed up the previous week, know that we spent a lot of money to make this a super team. Um, we've gone all in on this season to either win the World Series or basically go broke. Um, we've just signed some extensions um, for Christopher Hermano and Nolan Ryan, but those weren't our biggest pickups. So some of you who saw the earlier episode were probably laughing at me. If you haven't already, um, if you haven't already, that's very kind of you and very generous. But um, I spent money on two players I didn't even get to keep because I signed them before the expansion draft and then forgot to put them on the protected list. Oops. But I did make some pretty big deals. Um, one of the lesser deals was adding Carl Morton, um, a reliever. No, actually, we've had Carl Morton for a while. We had him in 75. Who is the reliever I just added? Is it LaRoche? Ah, it's Dave LaRoche. Okay. Um, an extra arm in the bullpen is always handy. Uh, he did a pretty good job for Minnesota last year. I hope he can do the same for us. Dum -da dum Oh yeah, Johnny Bench. He's a thing now. And he's costing us an awful lot of money. But the owner wanted us to upgrade a catcher. And it's hard to argue with Johnny freaking Bench as your catcher. One of our big signings. And dum de dum de dum We moved Rich Dower over to shortstop. This is a bit more of an experiment. I don't know how it'll work out, but I'm confident that he's got the physical tools to play shortstop and provide me with a competent bat. Dum uh, de dum de dum. Pete Rose, yeah, he's on the uh, he's on the Phillies now. I believe he played for the Phillies in real life at one point. Yeah, he did. So we're just getting him a little bit earlier, which is you know a good thing. Um. We needed someone to uh, get on base for us, and most importantly. We needed a new left fielder after we lost Greg Kluzinski. Kluzuski. Gary Kluzuski? I can't even... I don't... His name... He's dead to me. I don't need to know his name anymore. Um, and so... He is a bit more of a risk. Um, we paid a decent bit of money for him, but fortunately we've got team options. So if it turns out he's not very good, we can just opt him out. Then there's Jose Cruz. Um, Jose Cruz was originally intended to be a right field. Uh, we weren't even going to sign Jose Cruz at one point. And then I lost Mickey Rivers, who I signed to be our center fielder. And the only good center fielder left was Jose Cruz. Now you'll notice he's actually not that great a center fielder. I offer you two counterpoints. Number one, he's still pretty young. Number two, he's still eh. Number three, he's a pretty good hitter. But number four... We have the Bobby Bonds problem. Bobby Bonds can opt out of his contract after this season. And given how greedy he is, I would not be surprised if he does it. And he's been consistently good for the past. Since he's been a Philadelphia Philly, he's been producing good quality seasons. And so I think there's a good chance he chooses to opt out and bank that he's going to get even more money from someone else. So Cruz is going to be a center fielder for this year. Beyond that, who knows? We still, of course, have Mike Schmidt, Christopher Hermano. Um, poor John Stearns is probably very sad now. Um, because last season was a pretty good season for him, all things considered. But when you can get Johnny Bench, y you take Johnny Bench. I would send Essie into AAA, but I can't without losing him. And I really like his good discipline, the fact that he doesn't strike out much. Most importantly, his amazing defense. Um, so I'm actually going to send down Stearns for now. That'll be the first player move we make. Um, let's do our normal. We need to get rid of six pitchers. Um, Fanning is an obvious choice. Mayo is an obvious choice. Parrot's an obvious choice. Dorsey, and Shop. How many people does that leave us with? 13. Still need to get rid of 
sort of need to get rid of one more. Probably Randy Smith, right? I mean, Randy Smith, if he reaches his potential, is still unimpressive. So yeah, okay, pitchers are done. Now we need to decide what to do about the offense. We have way too many shortstops. Down to the minors. Danny Thompson probably won't take a demotion, but we'll try. Yeah, he says no. I have no problem with losing Klobos at this point. He's kind of a, a trash tier player anyway. I'm going to go ahead and wave him. Just to get him off the roster. And then we have the Mark Corey problem. Mm. Corey dominated AAA. But there's not an I mean, there's not an obvious role for him. I do want five outfielders though, which I think means you just get rid of another infielder. Which I think is going to be Fred Andrews. Because, I mean, Danny Thompson's a pretty good shortstop. Actually, he can't play another position, can he? Oh, shit. If someone takes Danny Thompson, they'll be doing me a favor. I'm going to go ahead and wave him. Oh, no, he refuses to be demoted. That's different. Uh, will anyone take him off my hands for a player that at least might be more useful? Maybe. I could trade him for basically nothing. Like a Carlos Lopez. Lopez is a decent outfielder who's got a cannon for an arm and no other talents. Larry Walters is at least a good catcher and he draws walks. I mean, this is scraping the bottom of the barrel, but I really don't want someone who takes up a roster spot. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trade him for Gary Danny Walters. I want to see if they'll throw something else in. I suspect they won't. But you never know. Like, what about, say, like, Mickey Hatcher? Ah, oh, you were just drafted. Uh, Paul Stevens. I could get Paul Stevens. Um, Paul Stevens isn't a very good player, but I could get him. Um, you always need warm bodies, right? Um, Tom Hester is a decent center fielder who draws walks and steals bases. Again, kind of interesting. Can I get him too? He's th he'll think about it. I will submit this offer. If he doesn't take it, um, he doesn't take it. I do have a little bit of time to play around with. And usually they get back to you pretty quick. He accepts it. I'm not going to push it any farther. I'm just going to go ahead and complete the trade. Wow, people really like Danny Thompson. Okay. But you know, the point is, we got what we wanted. And we stocked up a bit on minor leaguers, so I'm going to call it good. Let's go ahead and set up the rotation and the pitching staff. Um, so last season, Steve Carlton was like, remember 1972, I'm going to do that again. Give me the Cy Young and the MVP, and the league said, okay, that sounds good. Um, Carlton will be the ace, Ryan will be the number two, um, Norman number three. No, Ryan number two. Um, Norman number three. I think he's deserved, earned a promotion to number three starter over Twitchell. Twitchell will be number four. And we're going to conclude the rotation with Bob Shirley. Um, now, Bob Shirley got, his, got a full season in the majors and didn't really impress. But the thing he was bad at is the one thing he's supposed to be good at. He's supposed to basically not walk people. He doesn't throw very hard, but he doesn't walk people. And so I'm willing to give him another shot at the fifth starter role. Okay. 
Now, Pete Mickelson last season for us did a pretty okay job as the closer. I have no issue with making him the closer again. Um, We'll make... LaRoche will be the stopper. If there's a big deal, I want him in the game. Uh, oh, crap. He's also the only lefty in the pen. That happens every season to me. I'm such an idiot. Oh, well. Um, Morton will be a setup man for the seventh inning. And then, I guess, no, damn it, LaRoche. Oh, no, no, no. We need good stamina. That'll be Morton. Shit, I made Morton my setup guy. Damn it. Um, honestly, LaGro, you can be the long reliever. Someone's got to get the job. And then everyone else will take middle relief. Every season, I end up with only one lefty in the pen. Oh, I know what happened. Um, I forgot about Tug McGraw. Um, that's the problem, and we'll be getting him back once, uh, once he's healthy. Okay. Lineups. Nuke them all. This is gonna be fun. Um, we have options we've never had before in setting up the lineup. I'm really excited about that. Okay. Our best contact hitter is no surprise Pete Rose. But Hermano is by far our best walker. So I'm going to bat Hermano first and Rose second. Here's my thinking. Hermano's got decent speed. Who cares? He's really good at drawing walks. Much better than even Pete Rose. And Hermano's job is to get on base. Rose's job is going to be to advance the runner. And so... I think it makes sense to make him the number two. So who's number three? Bobby Bonds is a good candidate. So is Johnny Bench. Um, Bonds hits for much higher contact. So I am going to have Bonds hit third in this lineup. Now. Johnny Bench or Mike Schmidt is cleanup. I think we make Johnny Bench cleanup. It puts him in the heart of the order. It gets him lots of extra bats. And it leaves us the extremely dangerous Mike Schmidt at third base to drive in anybody that bonds at Bench down. Um, this is a very formidable team now. Oh, and by the way, let's kind of slip in our number six hitter, Jose freaking Cruz. Um, Dower's a good enough contact hitter that I'll give him a, I'll bat him seventh. And ironically, our worst offensive player remains our first baseman. Um, does Brant have the platoon split? It's not an extreme one. And I'll be honest, Bial was kind of terrible last year. I mean, he got lots of chances, and he just couldn't hit. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, Marshall Brandt. You're my ace in the hole. Bam. Done. Let's generate some death charts. I want to take a very quick look at this. Uh, interesting. Car Corey playing first? He's not... Oh, I guess he can play first. Okay. Interesting. Um, I don't mind him getting some reps at first base. I do mind him getting them that often. We'll say every seven and then every ten. Um, I like the idea of Cruz getting a day off every now and again. Uh, I do want Dower playing every day. Uh, again, at once a week is enough for Corey and then once every ten for Beal. I want to actually see what Brant has, which I won't be able to see unless I play quite well, unless I play him quite a bit. Um, and same thing here. Okay, so this I think is a good lineup. Uh, it's going to be a good pitching staff. There's nothing left to do but simulate up to opening day. 
Now, we are thin. We spent a lot of money to get significant upgrades to the team, but we're very, very thin. We don't have depth. And that's the one thing that scares me. He wants you to win the World Series. If I don't win the World Series, I probably won't get to come back. Which is fine. But really? Robert Millsop is the number one prospect. Okay. Um... Why? You've got to have something in him that I don't see. Uh, Dale Murphy, Wade Boggs, I buy. Jeffrey Leonard, Leon Durham, Paul Molitor, Mike Scott. Every other name on this list makes sense to me. Maybe not Greg Terlecki, who I don't think was all that great in real life. No, he was actually quite shit. But you... Uh... Yeah, fine. Delightful. Sure. Okay. That's enough to make us finish at 10th, even though the picture they're writing as number one is total horseshit. Um, sure. What's a preseason pr predictions look like? They predict we'll win our division by a single game. And Mike Schmidt and Barry Bonds will be our two best hitters. It's uh, Bobby Bonds. Sorry, it's hard to argue with that. They also really like Steve Carlton and Nolan Ryan. So do I. Uh, they think we'll have a very good pitching staff. And a mediocre Wow, they love the Braves lineup. Who do the Braves even have that you think they'd score 900 runs? I mean, Lonnie Smith is good. Dusty Baker's good. Andre Dawson is good. Shit. Oh, sorry about that. My pop filter fell off the desk. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. Um, you got Daryl Evans, Art Howe, Mark Bradley, Earl C. Williams. This is not a lineup that scores 900 runs, I'm afraid. I don't know why you think they would. Uh, you may very well know something I don't AI, but this is not a 900-run lineup. My lineup's not 900 runs, and my lineup kicks the ever-loving shit out of this one. But that's why they play the games, right? If all that mattered was preseason, the Browns would have gone 16-0 and last year, instead of 0 and 16. Okay. Play ball. Uh, we'll do the usual. We'll sim up a month, see what happens. Oh, great. Tug, Tug McGraw is actually ready for opening day. Um, we're going to send down Legro. He's the only pitcher who doesn't obviously have a role on this team. All right. So, Tug, this is going to seem weird, but this is what I think you're best suited for right now. You're a lefty specialist that also faces middle, that also pitches middle relief. Until I've played more of the season. Oh, really? What did I just get through saying, game? I got through saying we don't have much depth, and you went and crippled my best player. One of my best players. Sigh. Damn it. Can Dower play third? He's actually a pretty good third baseman. Okay. Let's remove this. You're now moving to third. I'm going to call up another middle infielder. The question is, oh god, it's got to be... Oh, Verizer, you should be in... I could just call you up. You at least play shortstop and third base really well. Klobos is just me. Yeah, I'll go ahead and call him up. And then I'll send you to triple A. Come on. There we go. All right. Of all the people we could have lost, Mike Schmidt hurts a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Let's bump everyone else up. 
Move Dower to third. And then Andrews or Verizer. We're going to have Verizer play shortstop just because Andrews is far more um, flexible in what he can do. And we'll regenerate depth charts. And I bet they'll look very different now. You're still obsessed with this idea that he needs regular reps at first. I need to see what Brant can do. Then we can worry about what Corey can do. I have no problem with you playing basically Andrew and Verizon roughly equal amounts of time. Once a week, once every 10, perfect. Swap out Andrews and Verizon till one of them gets a clear lead. Fine. Wow, we are really bad this season. I mean, it's only the first month of the season, but my God. And we just lost Carl, Carl Morton for three months. I guess we'll call LeGro back up. Is anybody hitting right now? I think that's our problem. I think almost no one's hitting. Bobby Bonds is hitting. As is Jose Cruz. As is Hermano. Bench is decent. We're getting a lot more to Brant than I expect. We're actually not hitting badly. I think it's the bullpen. I think it's just... How many saves has Mickelson blown already? He's already blown two. But it is so early in the season. I'm going to give them a little bit more time to see how these things are shaking out. But this is a really bad start. Given the talent level of this team... Yeah. It taint good. Now, oh, maybe Mike Schmidt's going to sort things out. And he gets back early, and our lives are, you know... Much better. Oh, come on. I just lost Twitchell for most of the season. Steve Shields is not ready for AAA. Bruce Poole isn't either. I'm going to call it Bruce Poole. Someone's got to be my starter. Ah, oh, this is bad. Steve Carlton's dominating. I don't know if he can drag this lineup, kick, drag team kicking and screaming into the playoffs, but he's certainly going to have a go at it. Uh, we don't know when Mike Schmidt's coming back. That's sad. Um, that's real sad. But hopefully he's back relatively soonish. I think Dower's a better player shortstop. Damn the Mets. I've gone off to this crazy star. Could we get Mike Schmidt back? Um, of the shortstops, who has been the best hitter? It's been Verizer, but I gotta send him down because Andrews plays multiple positions. Dower's gonna move back to shortstop, and we're gonna rebuild the lineup. Pop in Mike Schmidt. Third base. Shortstop for Dower. Cruz and Schmidt back in at third. It just feels right to have Mike Schmidt back in the lineup. I mean, he is the Phillies. Without much debate, I think. Um, yeah, I'm fine with Andrews just playing third. Um, although I do want Dower playing as much as he can just to get used to playing shortstop. All right, let's continue through May, and then we'll see what this team actually has. We're playing about 500 right now. This is not great. We need to get on a hot streak. The question is, why were this cold to begin with? 
2,500 hits for Pete Rose Sr. Nice. Roy, Ryan's starting to age a bit. Uh, Steve Carlton's getting like 1% worse. Bench is actually getting better, which is scary. Uh, Brant got a tiny bit better in potential. Schmidt got a little worse. Dower got a little better at hitting. Rose got better at contact, worse at power. Cruz got better at contact and eye and power. We're getting some reasonable improvements. Really, Dave Rigetti? You dick. Oh, this is the other Phillies. Okay. All right. So let's take a quick look at what this team is doing well. We are not scoring runs. Pitching staff could be better. But we're not hitting homers and we're not scoring runs. And I think Pete Rose is the problem. I mean, everyone else in the... Okay, losing Mike Schmidt, we haven't had much power this season. And that's problematic. But P. Rose is here to get on base, and he's not getting on base. He's only scored 16 runs. By comparison, Hermano's already scored 43. Pete Rose has to go as the number two hitter. I'm going to bump up uh, Cruz. And I'm going to have Dower hit sixth. Yeah, uh, Rose can't handle hitting that high in the lineup anymore. It's probably going to piss him off. He's going to have to deal with it. Really pleased by Dower, by the way. Um, I think there's even more in his bat, but really pleased by his performance so far. All right, we'll see how this works out for us. And then let's look at the pitching staff. Tug McGraw's just not pitching. I'm going to make you a middle reliever first, tell it to use you more, and then I'm going to shift you to being a lefty specialist second. Because you're get, you're not getting innings, and you need to be getting innings because you're pretty good at this pitching thing. All right. Now, it said we're doing real bad defense-wise. I don't need to look at the stats, but I'll look at them anyway to see that Jose Cruz is a big part of the problem. Brant's kind of shaky. Hermano's a bit below average. Hermano bugs me a bit. He's a decent second baseman. I think maybe he's just off to a slow start. The game thinks that he's virtually perfect. I think he's almost worth 10 war. So I'm not going to complain too much about Hermano. Let's see how that does. Maybe just a little bit less Pete Rose, a little bit more the rest of the team. Pete Rose Sr. No. You're you're not a hitter in the middle of the lineup. You're just not. I don't care how unhappy you are. If someone wants to make me an offer, I'll listen. I'll put you on the trade block. But mate, you're already being a malcontent because you're not as good as you think you are anymore. Come on, guys. We need a hot streak. We seem to get hot. Instead, we're one of the worst teams in the league. I'm getting fired. There's almost no chance I don't get fired. And Nolan Ryan got a shutout. That's something. I mean, there's still lots of time left to make a move. But, I mean, this is... We're eighth in runs scored. And this is with Mike Schmidt and Christopher Hermano both playing out of their minds. Okay, Dower, maybe. Maybe we have pushed Pete Rose up to sixth. I need something. We need a spark. And I don't know where that spark's going to come from. Yeah, Pete 
Roost can hit right behind. I'm actually going to have Dower hit last. Um, okay, Jose Cruz is a pretty terrible center fielder. No one's disputing that. Oh, yeah, and his power is gone, too. Really? All right, hopefully we'll get straightened out. This is just, there's just not much I can do with this. I can't look at this team and say getting rid of this player or acquiring this player is going to fix my problems. Because my problems are pretty much, I'm not hitting when I need to. And there's not much I can do to fix that. Um, let's sim up to the all-star break and see if maybe we just need... He's probably super pissed at me. Hey, you like Johnny Bench. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what we would trade for to fix this team right now. We need a better first baseman, obviously. Okay, losing my awesome second baseman isn't going to freaking help. Uh, Paul Stevens, you get called up by simple virtue of the fact I don't have another second baseman. So, welcome to the big leagues. I hope you don't embarrass yourself. Stevens at least draws walks, and he's a terrible second baseman. So, that's something, right? Um, I'm going to put Pete Rose back at the top of the lineup. It sucks because he's not that good. But there's nothing else I can do. Losing Hermano right when we did... It's not the worst time it could happen. That would have been at the end of the season. But man. Alright, Paul. Get to work. Uh, is, do I still have depth chart? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Brant's not hitting for power at all. And that's his calling card. I mean, a trade for a better first baseman is about the only deal I can see... That would really make a difference with this lineup. I'm going to look at the trading block. They're not offering like a really good first baseman. There's always Rusty Staub. Oh, he doesn't play first base, so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I could sign Joe Torrey to a minor league deal. But I'm not quite sure what that would accomplish. Yeah, there's just not an there's not an option here to really improve at first base. I don't have anyone in the minors who's ready to play first. I've got a bunch of outfielders and catchers. I mean, I could have John Stearns play first. I mean, Marshall Brandt's been a vortex of sucks, so... I send him to AAA and call up Stearns, and I'll just have Stearns play first. It's a weird decision, I know, but we need... We need something. Uh, play first for me, Sterny. I'm gonna call you Sterny if that's okay. At least Stearns can handle the glove, and he's got a good enough contact bat that I think he could add something to the lineup. Because Brant wasn't even hitting for contact. So... Losing Hermano really pisses me off. Oh, come on, we're 40 and 50 now? We're 20 games back? Alright, who made... What does Pete Mickelson want? He wants to play for someone else. He can go to hell. Steve Carlton, Dave LaRoche, Johnny Bench, Christopher Hermano, and Mike Schmidt. That's a lot of all-stars. we got a lot of talent on this team. They're just not 
capitalizing. Um, this is probably going to cost you my job. We spent a lot of money on this. You will give me a bad first... I can't trade Alfaro. He's a possible future building block for this team. Even though I need to keep my job, he's not that much better. Uh, we can get Carl Morton back. Um, Carl Morton is a starter. I'm getting rid of Bruce Poole. I'm going to have Carl Morton start games. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. This is a starter. A really good starter. Get in there. An upgrade at four starter would be a very big boost to this team. I lost Dave Stoiber. I don't even know who he is. Oh, he's one of my relievers. Okay. Let's call him Mike Parrot. You can be a long reliever. Just eat some innings. Now I lost Paul Stevens for six weeks. I'm just going to let the roster go for now because I don't have another second baseman. Lombarski is not remotely ready for the major leagues. He's a really good hitter, though. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do at some point. Um, I can't remotely call up anyone that I've got right now to play second. I just can't. And so I'm just going to let it ride until Hermano is healthy again. Then I'll just put Stevens on the DL then. Yeah, we were off to such a terrible start. I don't think we're making the playoffs this year. Player development. Lots of old players got worse, I bet. And the young players get better. Well, Paul Stevens got a little better. Mike Schmidt keeps getting better. Mark Corey got better. Rich Dower got worse. Uh, we're getting some improvements lower in the minors. Steve Shields is doing pretty good. Okay. Okay. The Mets are just so high above everyone else, I think we're screwed. I don't care, Bob Beal. You're a backup first baseman. Good. Okay. I'm going to put you on the DL. I'm going to call up Hermano. And let's see what we can do to kickstart this team. Because we are running out of time. Piero Sr. has actually done quite well. I think it's Cruz that's the problem. Let's bat him 8th. I got to bat Piero's second though. Christopher Hermano is too damn awesome to play anywhere but lead off. There we go. Pete Rose has actually come around quite a bit, and he's actually being a very positive contributor to the team. Um, I don't see us making up a 20-game skid, regardless of how hot we might get. Uh, setback for Paul Stevens. Yeah, Legro, you suck. Story at least doesn't stuck suck that much. I'll use Larry Christensen a bit less often. I mean, mm, this is so frustrating. Are you kidding me?
this is that's it. That's the season. That was the worst possible time that problem could have come up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put Beal on the D. No, I'm not going to bother now. It's two weeks left. There could not have been a worse time for you to take Steve Carlton out. I mean, the man was working on borrowed time. I understand and acknowledge that, but still. We're in such shit now. I mean, we're going to finish right around 500, the same place we did the last two or three seasons. It just goes to show you, um, free agency doesn't fix all your problems. Especially when, I mean, I know the defense isn't great, but it's getting better. We're just not scoring runs all of a sudden. And that was one of the best things we did the past few seasons. Johnny Bench is a big part of it, actually. His bat's below league average. Mike Schmidt is just... Yeah. He's like, you know what? I've never hit 300 before in the majors. Let's give it a shot. See if I like it. We don't deserve Mike Schmidt. This... This got me fired. I went on a rampage of free agents... And I'm not getting anything out of it. It's not going to work out. We're getting we're getting Wayne Twitchell back in a couple weeks, which you know who gives a shit. Um, that's not going to save this season. I think I'm going to be looking for a new job. I think I'm going to get fired with the collection of talent I had. With the raw collection of talent we had. The Mets just went insane this season though. I don't even care. I'll take them off the DL. I'm not even going to bother playing in my career as, as the Phillies general manager and manager is done. He's going to fire me. Take out my utility player when you're busy kicking me in the jack. Oh, I, I'll tell you what I should have done. I should have kept Rivers. I should have done everything I could to keep Mickey Rivers. Let's play till the playoffs end, because that's when I'll get fired. Uh, the Mets. My God, the Mets this season. I don't know what got into them, but they just dominated from the moment the game, the season started. And it wasn't even remotely close. Oh, it didn't change it away from being a League of Championships. There's a best of seven. I thought I fixed that. Eh, I'm too lazy to fix it now. We're done, guys. I got fired. If if I didn't get fired, I don't know what I could possibly have done to get fired. I mean, the team was under 500, and they wanted me to win the World Series. That's pretty disappointing. That's reassuring. Gene Mock managed for 27 seasons. Oh, yeah. We got fired. I have almost my pick of jobs, though. Hmm. All right. Well, obviously, here, let's take a look at the job offers. Uh, available jobs. Here we go. I'm not playing for a AAA franchise. I think that's obvious. All right. So I'm looking for a couple of things. I'm looking for longevity. Uh, I want a place where I can actually have an impact on a franchise. So that's going to limit anyone who's offered me less than four years. I'm not going to talk to. So no Braves, no Red Sox, no Indians, uh, no Tigers, 
no Padres, no Giants, no Cardinals, and no Blue Jays. So we have the Montreal Expos, the Chicago Cubs, the Baltimore Orioles, and I thought there was another team who offered me four years, and the Toronto Blue Jays. I don't want to play... This is tough. Or the... Or the Cubs. Or the Cubs. Who? This is ridiculously tough. I want to play a team that I can build up myself. So, right, let's look at each team's recent history. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles this season finished fourth. Um, they don't have much in the minors. They have John Tudor. And their lineup's not great. This is probably too much of a rebuild for me. On the other hand, it's a big market. The fans love me, and it's a four-year deal. So Baltimore, I'm ambivalent on. The Cubs. The Cubs finished second in the NL East. They've got some interesting players, but they don't really have like a franchise cornerstone that I can tell. I'd basically be trading... I mean, they've got Ron Santo, which, you know, he belongs on the Cubs. But this is another team that I feel is just... It's basically the Phillies again. I either want exciting prospects or I want... Um, John Harris is kind of shit. Um, or I want a team that's got a big, a big league roster now. Let's look at the Expos. The Expos do have Gary Carter. Um, although, Gary Carter in real life was a ma was a Hall of Famer. This Gary Carter looks like he's got some issues. Um, they've got some talent. They finished 81 and 81, though. And I don't want to go from one 500 franchise to another. I either want to bottom out or... Be ready to compete. What about the Blue Jays? Okay, the Blue Jays have Tim Raines and Mookie Wilson. Okay, the Blue Jays were fantastically bad last year, which means number one draft pick. Oh my god. The idea of getting a number one draft pick? It's such a good idea, right? And it's a four-year deal. Oh. And it's a jump to the AL. I'm going to do it. I'm we're we're going to Toronto. We're moving north of the border. Done. They want me to do a bunch of things that we'll talk about in the next episode. Um I'm cautiously up and optimistic because I'm really excited about the possibility of getting a number one draft pick and getting that super elite prospect I've never been able to get before. I think it's going to be fun. Um, so for those of you who really wanted to see the Phillies, um, look, we can look at my Phillies career. <laughs> we did okay. I mean... It kind of sucks that I wasn't able to ever get us to the playoffs. I think we never built a strong enough foundation. We kept we kept basically seeing at the point where we'd be like, three players get injured, team goes in the toilet. Um, 
And I hope, I wish the Phillies success. But we're on to a new challenge. We're taking over the 1977 Toronto Blue Jays. But that'll be next episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, so just so people can see, um, so people that like the Phillies can decide, well, for the purposes of YouTube, I'm going to flag this as a new series of OOTP, but that's just to focus on the, um, the fact that it's a new team. Um, but yeah, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm going to get a chance to build the farm system the way I want to build it and not have people constantly breathing down my neck. Um, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.